Now to save a lot, you're gonna go into your clips, display your timeline over here, right click the clip that you're editing and you can select generate a lot. Now down here we have four options, 17 point LUT, 33, 65 and Panasonic LUT. I would advise you guys to maybe use 33 point LUT if you're shooting log, 65 if you're editing raw footage and 17 LUT I would avoid it unless you're using these LUTs to maybe transfer them into a monitor to preview how your video is gonna look on field. So I'm just gonna select 33 LUT which is great for LUT footage. Then you're gonna name it, save it and you're basically good to go. So let's see how the LUT performs in a couple of clips, this image in Venice. And as you can see, I've already added it into the Edlight LUT Pack V3. I'm just going to double click it when you're selecting a node to apply it. And there you have your edit. This is before and after. And obviously, again, you need to add the grain, the vignette and the chromatic aberration. The effects don't pass into the LUTs. So it's looking fantastic in this image. How about in this image in Venice? This is before and after and it's just looking fantastic it's a very dramatic and very strong effect so maybe if it's too much you can always control the intensity of the lot when you're applying it you can go into your key over here and you can reduce the input on the gain I'm just going to reduce it and you reduce the intensity of the lot or you can apply more intensity as well if you want a more of a harsher and dramatic look if you like the short clip and you're interested in watching the full tutorial, check the video that's appearing on screen right here. And if you want to edit in a faster manner, whether it be photo or video, you can check out my preset and lot shop right here. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.